Greetings. This video shows a simple post-production project that features Spectralayers 9 used in ARA mode inside Nuendo. Here, we'll be calling up the new Unmix Levels process, as well as Dynamic Spectral Processing and the Ambience Match process introduced in Spectralayers Pro 8. Okay, listen to this very short clip a few times. Okay, now this clip is all I have to work with. It's too short, and it has too much dynamic range. Now, I can easily solve both problems with spectral layers. Click on the audio clip to make it active, then go over and call up spectral layers in the new window extension panel. The clip opens in spectral layers. On the spectral layers menu bar, choose the layer option and then unmix levels, and the dialog box appears. Now here I have the Unmix Levels Threshold Control set at 0 dB, and I'm auditioning the high level layer using Dynamic Spectral Processing. I'm taking the control down by 6 dB with every pass. Every pass brings in more low level content. When I get to minus 24 dB, we can hear the other sound entering the picture, so I'm going to go back to minus 18 dB and execute the process at that setting. Okay, let's solo the layers. Here's the high level layer. And this is the low level layer. Now here I'm dragging the high level layer onto the Nuendo timeline. The segment gets added as a new clip and a new file is created as we can see here in the pool. Okay, let's solo that. Now here I've zoomed out a bit and I'm going to make a few copies of our new file on the timeline to start off the soundscape. And then we can apply ambience match to the low level layer. We need to create a place for the ambience to land on the timeline, namely an audio track. So here I've created one and now I'm drawing a region on it. I'm going to render this segment to an audio file, select it and perform edit, render in place, render with current settings. And there's the new audio track. And we don't need the source track here, so I'm just going to remove it. And now I'm going back to the Spectral Layers source track. Select it, and there it is. Let's move the new blank audio track into the ARA workflow. Select it, and then go up and apply the extension. Here, the blank audio track comes in on a new independent layer. I have the low level layer soloed, and now I'm ready to capture the ambience. I'll go over and make a full spectrum selection with the Time Range Selection tool, and I can audition the selection by hitting the spacebar. Notice that I didn't select any of the area with the beep sound because I don't want my ambience to have any traces of that. This part of the audio is the only part that's accessible, but it contains just enough information to provide a good registration for the match. Now process, ambience match, register ambience, and the dialog verifies it. Okay, now I'm making the new blank audio track active before going back to the process menu and selecting ambience match, ambience match, click through, and now the ambience is applied across the entire length of the track. Sounds like this. This is a smooth and supple extension of the source sound with full fidelity and no artifacts. No looping, no laborious timeline editing, just really easy and effective work on the post-production timeline. Okay, now I'll play both of the new channels together. I can run send effects directly from Spectral Layers in ARA mode, just as if it were a typical audio track. Here, I've created a reverb and tremolo effect that I'm sending to the low level layer in Spectral Layers via prefader send in Nuendo. If I wish, I can easily render the audio to the channel and drop the extension at the same time. I'll just select the clip, go up into the extensions panel, and choose Make Selection Permanent. And this option is new in Nuendo 12. 
Now that all of our new audio has been rendered, we really don't need spectral layers in the system anymore. So, I'll remove it by going back to the audio menu and selecting Extensions, Remove Extension from Selected Events. Now when I double click the event, you can see that I've gone back to the waveform view and our work in spectral layers is finished. So, I'm just going to remove the original source track since we're not using it anymore. Okay, let's focus on the high level layer for a minute. Here, I've added a few insert effects to the channel, and it sounds like this. Both channels together. Now there is a lot you can do with the unmixed levels process. Try it on sounds that have a lot of dynamic range. This process is ideal if you value the content in the high level and low level layers equally. And you want to capture, process, and manipulate both, separately or together like we did here today in ARA mode. Seamless integration between spectral layers in Nuendo is getting better all the time, as both applications evolve together to create one of the most remarkable workflows in today's post-production landscape. Thanks for watching this video. Spectral Layers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.